Former Treasury Secretary Larry Summers wants us all to know that inflation is much worse than it appears to be. Mm, because we don't have enough bad news nowadays. More specifically, Summers said that our inflation rate is closer to the late 70s. Now, let's put more context to this. In the late 1980s, former Fed Chairman Paul Volcker had to resort to extreme means to tame inflation. During that time, the real inflation rate was 13.6%, but because the government manipulated how inflation was calculated, it was officially declared to be 9.1%. Summers is saying he developed a more accurate way of calculating inflation, and it puts actual inflation of the current year to the real inflation of the 70s. If Summers is right, that means that the Federal Reserve may have to resort to the same extreme means employed then to tame inflation now. In 1980, Volcker authorized the increase of interest rate to the tune of 20% to combat inflation. This actually drowns the U.S. economy and it lasted a full two years until any signs of recovery was shown. At the time, this was the worst economic downturn since the Great Depression. The unemployment rate reached 10.8% in 1982. So how did Summers come to this conclusion? Is this computation even reliable? Summers and the paper's co-authors, economists Judd Kramer and Maureen Bohus, argued that CPI's fundamental error is it did not correctly account for consumer spending on housing, including both the final home purchase value and the value of mortgage rates spread out over 30 years. The pre-1983 index included both home purchase prices and the total outlay of mortgage payments, despite mortgages being paid out gradually over several years. Let's break it down further. When you buy a house worth a million, you may opt to pay it over 30 years. Let us assume that you pay a monthly mortgage of $5,000. The CPI figures in the $1 million total purchase price instead of your $5,000 mortgage. Summers and colleagues argue that this caused inflation measures before 1983 to look artificially high at the beginning of the tightening cycle and to recede artificially fast. We're still using that measure now. That means that real estate demand slows down. Inflation will go down real fast, but that would be inaccurate. Volcker's policy was seen as a win for an aggressive Federal Reserve and hawkish monetary policy at the time. But if Summers is right, it would mean that inflation may be significantly less responsive to monetary tightening than first believed. That would also mean that the current Fed administration under Chairman Jerome Powell may have been even more aggressive to get results, despite the recession risks. This has been Natalie Denise for Noble Gold Investments. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell for updates and news.